Yeah, it's a little weird right now. There's um, there's downward pricing on some raw materials, and then there's you know very sharp upward pricing on others due to outages and things like that. Yeah. So um, I yeah. think. I don't know. I think demand is softer than it maybe appears, but based on the activity, because we're seeing a lot of activity around things that are tight and you hear people are air freighting, you know, products from China and paying, you know, crazy money for that. But um, it's, I don't think it's as demand driven as it is, you know, supply, supply lack driven. of supply driven. Yeah. yeah, it seems like that will continue more, more, so more often, more likely than not, you know, barring any crazy economic changes or geopolitical changes you know there's a lot of eyeballs on you know interest rates and things like that which may potentially drive demand for housing you know, it seems like automotive's doing relatively well but you know, haven't seen any crazy uptick in demand from that segment it seems like so it seems like the supply side will continue kind of dictating supply and demand for a while to come here i think demand is pretty weak for an election year i agree with aj yep. i think that a lot of this is being driven by um the impact of globalization and um, you know let's take one example TMA trimolytic acid in hydride um, this product uh, was supplied by three Chinese producers and one American producer that American producer went out and we're being very well taken uh, advantage of by the Chinese now they're bidding us against our own customers at times or our you know partners and things like that they're they're canceling orders so there's you know there's a problem with that and it's compounding and so same with you know things like the oq outage which they just came back up in europe i mean you know these outages are driving um incremental um and maybe um fake demand at times where people are just grasping for things and driving the costs up and things like that